Your time right now is 6.07 and all new here on GMJ, dozens of crashes in the same place and now FDOT is taking action. This is after hearing your concerns about dangerous intersections within Murray Hill. Let's get out to Claire Alfrey. She's on your side at Edgewood Avenue and College Street. And Claire, you spoke with a man whose business has suffered significant damage from one of these wrecks. That's right, Katie and Keitha. Good morning. You know, although Edgewood Avenue right behind me looks quiet now, this isn't a case according to the owners of Duval Dogs. They just had to pay $4,000 to replace a fence that was damaged because of a hit and run accident right off the intersection of Edgewood Avenue and College Street, and that pushed back their opening day by two weeks. Now, the owners at Duval Dogs share that after spending the past three months getting their dog boarding business ready to open, they've witnessed seven accidents along Edgewood Avenue. Talk Talking to neighboring business owners and customers, the speeding and likelihood of crashes has impacted people avoiding walking on the sidewalks or even stopping at places near the intersection. Co-owner David says that prior to purchasing the building, they had no idea how dangerous the intersection was until seeing it with their own eyes. And after seeing roundabouts being added to nearby intersections, they are hopeful that getting one right by their storefront will help their business. We've witnessed cars going at least 45 miles per hour down the street, and I believe a roundabout is going to completely make that to where it's not going to be possible any longer. That'll slow everybody down. At the same time, it's going to keep traffic going through this neighborhood at a good and timely manner. Now, FDOT has started construction here of the intersection of Edgewood Avenue and College Street just four days ago. So for drivers driving through Murray Hill, be cautious of workers present throughout the day. Reporting in Jacksonville, Claire Alfrey, First Coast News on your side.